how do you improve your model fit if you are not getting a good model fit? Now the first step is you have to check for your outer loadings. Now you can start by looking at loadings that are low or less than 0.50. Now each time you remove a particular indicator from your model based on low loadings, you should rerun and reassess your model. Next step is if you are not getting a good fit based on your loadings, the next step and a very important step is modification indices. Now there is a big debate in the literature whether one should use modification indices or not. But in my experience, I have seen papers using it to improve the model fit. I have personally used it in my papers as well. Now how do you use modification indices? So everything that AMOS will suggest you, you won't draw covariances between those particular indicators or error terms or indicators and latent variable. You cannot draw covariance between two error terms that belong to two different constructs. So modification indices is, is all about drawing covariances. You cannot draw covariance between error terms and your latent construct. The only thing that is acceptable is drawing covariances between error terms from a similar construct. And again, you have to look into the theory as well, whether this covariance or relationship is justified or not. And finally, assess the standardized residual covariance. And this is available in the estimates section. Anything over 2 shall be considered for deletion. But it is very important that one should not go on and keep deleting items because that can affect your content validity and how you have operationalized your construct. Now improving model fit. In instances where an unobserved variable has multiple indicators, you might want to correlate the error terms if it is theoretically justifiable and help explain the variance within the construct. Now frequently indicators within a construct are very similar to a one another and there is redundancy between the indicators. Now how big does the modification indices value need to be to add another covariance? Consider any valid modification indices suggestion if the chi-square value is not changing by at least 10. Now what happens is when you draw covariances between error terms, it helps you change your chi-square value, reduce your chi-square value. A chi-square value of 10 at the expense of 1 degree of freedom is almost significant at 0.0011. So this means that this covariance or drawing the covariance will help you improve your model fit if it is greater than 10. But normally what happens is in AMOS, the minimum they have kept is 4. Now what I do normally is I look for instances where the change is extreme. It's not uncommon to have a modification suggestion greater than 20 in large models. So you will have suggestions greater than 20, even 30, 40, 50. An equal concern for multiple high modification indices within a construct is the possibility that this shared unexplained error is the result of a method bias in how the data was collected. Now research is not a segregated attempt. Research is a systematic process whereby one step can significantly influence your other step. Now, if you have collected the data and there are issues with the data, then you won't get good results. So right from the start, right from making or developing your questionnaire, one should be very cautious of how they should collect the data at later stages. Just one example, let's say you have developed a questionnaire and you have just taken three items within your construct. Now, it's highly recommended that when you intend to use SCM, you should use or you should have at least four, five or six items in a construct because the items may be deleted because of low loadings or higher standardized residual or maybe because of cross loadings. Now, another step that one can do is assess the standardized residual covariances. Now, these standardized residual covariances indicate the standardized differences between the proposed covariances based on the model and the observed covariances computed based on the collected data. So it's just the difference between your proposed covariances and what you have actually observed based on your data. Now significant values of standardized covariances indicate significant differences in covariances because the proposed model based on computed covariance and observed covariances and affects the overall good fit. So if, if there is a disparity between the observed 
and proposed covariances, then you will have problems with your overall model fit. Although the standardized residual covariances are like modification indices, they can directly be addressed through deletion of the concerned item. If, you've, if a particular item is showing a greater or higher standardized residual covariance, you can delete the item. Therefore, the significant standardized residuals may be treated only after taking care of modification indices. So instead of directly jumping onto your standardized residual covariances, in the estimates section, you should first look into modification indices. Finally, and most importantly, look for standardized residual covariances or the estimates that are greater than two to identify particular covariances which seem associated with significant discrepancies of the given model from a perfect model. So if your standardized residual covariance for a particular item is greater than two, you might consider deleting that particular item. Now, again, you have to be very cautious. Do not delete an item which is central to your construct and can affect the content validity. Make sure you have at least three items per construct. Now, here is a process model that one can use to improve the overall model fit. The first step, you have to set up your data. Check the data for incorrect inconsistent values. Now, there is a video on the channel on how to check and correct the inconsistent values. Assess the missing values and perform data imputation. Second, build your model in AMOS. Check for low factor loadings and then you can, obviously if your model is good, there are no issues with standardized residual covariances, there are no modification issues or modification indices issues, you can directly report your measurement model. But if there are issues, then you have to look for these steps. Look for low loadings. Stepwise delete your loadings and keep rerunning your model. It's just like trial and error. Assess the modification indices and only draw covariances between error terms of a same construct. Check for standardized residual covariances that are greater than two. Delete item with high residual covariances. And finally, you report your model. Now here are two important books that are critical to learning 